This here is a golf ball, and I bet you this white little ball here has controlled how you felt recently. Don't lie, don't lie. Maybe it was sadness, happiness, or frustration. It's crazy. Where this tiny white ball ends up can be the difference between having an amazing day or having one of the worst days of your lives. But today, you are going to have an amazing day because I am back with my Hall of Fame coach, Dana Dalquest, to figure out the simplest path to get control. Not only will you be able to start striping it down the middle, but finally get that ball to go where you want it to actually go. And isn't that all we ever wanted in life? Let's get into it. Treat this like a wedge, like you're just gonna pitch it to the right of that stick. No. Yeah, so kind of, let's do that again. Take your backswing, we'll hit right here. So you're only gonna go this far back. Yeah, like and, I, and I want you to, as you do it, feel like this is much wider. Like don't try to do anything with your hands. Just feel like it's pretty straight. Like that. Like that, okay. This there, yep. You're gonna do that and not hit this. And don't try to hit hard, you're only trying to pitch it like 60 yards, mm -hmm. keep it wide. There you go. Do it again, we're gonna try to keep it wide on both sides. Now there's one little thing that's kind of interesting. Remember last week how I said your hands get a little bit low? Yeah. Okay, so oh, yeah. you play, and this is something to look at, I'll show the over here. So my grip right now is a little on the stronger side. Yeah. Okay. And the lower the handle gets, the stronger the left hand gets. Yeah. See that? Yeah. That closes the face. Also, it creates more angle between your wrist and your arm. Yeah. So if I wanted to have a very good ability of controlling the bottom, mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to try to get too much deviation in my backswing between the shaft and the wrist. Okay. I know you've heard of lag before and stuff. Yeah. Like, don't even worry about it. Like, okay. you got plenty. I'd rather you get the handle higher, which will weaken your grip out. Okay. Aim the face more right and then feel like it's much, much straighter, especially when you're warming up. Oh, okay. And if you start missing the ball, yeah. that's something you want to kind of look for. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's do a couple. Go ahead and set up. And then, so there's two things I've kind of realized here. It's hard for me to, unless I'm doing a full swing, get to my left side. So it's, it seems, it doesn't seem like I'm well, okay. going back Good. forth. Yeah. Yeah. So, when you're hitting these like shorter ones, yeah. don't shift right so much. Okay. Try to anchor it a little bit more. On the left side. Yeah, and, okay. and just kind of keep it there. And yeah. then as you get to like maybe a driver or a full six iron, then you can have a little bit of a shift. But when I mean shift, I don't mean shift the pelvis. Mm. It's just pressure, okay? Right. Oh, okay, like this yeah. versus like this. Yeah, you don't want to go lateral. That would be bad. Okay. okay, go and set up. So a handle higher, as high as you can get it. And then do a backswing, feel like your arms and wrists don't break and stop here. Good. So that's 90 degrees. That was actually good. <laughs> Can you do oh, that again? Yeah. Okay. Handle higher to dress. Take it back and stop. There it is. Hold. I feel like this is wider. Like that. Okay. Like this? Yep. That's your backswing. So like this? Yep. All right, so handle higher. Okay, go ahead and do that. Try to stay, feel like you're a little bit left and wide. Bingo. Mm. Very nice. Okay. Um, yeah, and then I guess the one thing, I'm trying to not bring it in here anymore, so I'm kind of like getting this a little more structured. I don't know if it's like when I'm coming out, I have to make sure it's kind of more out versus like. Oh, in so much? Yeah, yeah. that's fine. It's like that's this? Fine. Yeah, but that wrist, so see what you did there? So this is, once again, this is actually good. Yeah. I'm gonna reiterate. Mm. Your grip got stronger, handle got lower. So if I went back with a level left wrist, the face is shut. Yeah. So then what you did is then you cupped your wrist to have a square face. Okay. So just something to note, like if you start seeing this wrist too cupped, it can be level to slightly extended, Yeah. but not too much. I see. So if I'm just keeping this, make it a little weak, and then just go back like this. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And then a little bit wider and softer. There you go. Like that. Wider meaning like outward? That way, yeah. Like this or yeah. this way? Yeah, but like, like, do that again, what you just did there? This way? Yeah, just, just a hair. So this angle's wider between here and here. The thing that I was trying to add is that this thing. Uh-huh. Side bend and turn, yeah. The side bend and turn. Um, when I'm doing this, I feel like maybe I'm over exaggerating, so I can't even like get, do that. So then I end up going like this. Okay. Does that make sense? Kind of. 
Maybe, yeah. We'll find out. <laughs> like the motion overall looks fine. Mm, okay. It's a lot of movement though, so I try to learn how to soften it up and pull the speed out of it. So instead of like all over the place, it's kind of just... Yeah. Like you got to get some flow because like here's the goal. What are you hitting? A seven iron there? Yeah. So you're trying to hit it the same distance. Keep kind of keeping the handle high and wide. There you go. Very good. Shorten it up a little bit. I'll shorten it. Yeah, I'm just hitting a bunch of thin shots right now with this. Well, if you, I'll, I'll teach you that piece. Okay, I'm filming this one. You okay. ready? Yeah. Keep trying to keep that wide. Yep, and keep your pelvis a little forward and not moving a lot. Yeah. That has a lot to do with your side bend because okay. you're coming out of the shot. So um, let me show you on video Yeah. what I'm talking about. We'll do it. Let's do it from the cart. Sure. It's easier. Yeah, the side bend too, I'm I was trying to add that yesterday and it, it just didn't seem like I was doing it properly because I'll like film myself and it just seems like I'll go like here and then I'll just like, this doesn't get here. It's just like I'm just side bending and doing that. Well, I'd rather you keep your inclination to the ground yeah. than try to get your hips open. So you're looking at your hips being open. Yeah. Um, I'd rather you get really good contact. Now you see your pelvis here? Yeah. So that moves like two inches to the right almost. You want to keep that at like 0.5 or zero? Yeah, close to one maybe. Okay. But then when you look at that relationship of that, even your upper hub, which is the upper COG, mm -hmm. is pretty good. And then that goes forward pretty quickly. So like that doesn't look bad, but then your hips jump forward real fast. So mm. it's, it's just not stable. And then look how big your swing is. Like you're, you're massively rotated. So we want to kind of go a little shorter, mm. bring control in. And then as you come down, say your head's coming up. Yeah. And everything's kind of forward. So your chest is forward, like your head's not back. Mm. So there's too much like horizontal going on yeah. in, your, in your swing. And then we need to side bend and stay in your inclination and then not break the wrists on both sides. Okay. Like that's the skill. Like if I, if I was you, you have speed. Speed's not a problem. Yeah. Contact, start line, contact, start line. And your overall motion looks fine. Yeah. But that inclination needs to be good. So this is what I would do. Go ahead and go set up for me. Remember when, my, when I think last week I was doing a lot of this uh -huh. and it was hard to get to the left side back. Yeah. So right now I'm trying to just do this, like more open, I guess. Yeah. And which allows me, but if I don't get to a more open, then it's hard for me. So if I kind of just stop here, is that what you're kind of saying? Or Yeah, so it's more through your arms. So, so you can do the full turn, but yeah. don't turn to oblivion. Like you're going to almost 100 degrees with a seven iron. Okay, so. And you're throwing lateral with it. So okay. you want to dial that to like 90 degrees mm. and keep your arms and wrists from deviating too much. Okay. So if you kept like the letter Y here, right? Mm -hmm. Turn to 90 degrees for me. Good. So that's kind of it. And feel like this is really, really wide. And you're not moving your pelvis to the right very much, right? Oh, okay. Now from here, start side bending. Keep your head here. Keep going. Good. Very good. And keep the arms straight and let your knees come together. And you're going to finish in that side tent and finish there. Like if you stand, if you stood there and went, here, there, and you kept that, the bottom gets good. Okay. Right? Like that's the number one thing. Like yeah. where it starts doesn't matter, but if you like chunking it, thinning it, you need that tilt to be there. Got okay. It. And then eliminate the side to side movement. So just keeping this stable and then just going there. Yeah, that's perfect. And then keep the tilt, keep the arm, even the club straight on the follow through. So this one makes sense. Bring him this is just we just keep going that. There. Finish there. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, man, okay. You'll figure it out, don't worry. Yeah. Not my first rodeo. <laughs> so right there, that's what you should play with. Because you didn't, so here's the thing, the intent was to go here, go here. Yeah. And you went to a full finish, you went to a full backswing. Yeah. Okay. So like the intent to keep it shorter and keep everything wider made your contact pristine. Yeah. Now you could do it more. So whatever you did there, strive for more. Okay. Like get, feel like it's Steve Stricker. Like it's not deviating. 
and you're keeping your inclination. Like once you control like these factors and nothing really else, then we can get into specific things like is the shaft pitch good? Like get into the golf theory side of stuff. But yeah. like here's the goal, like you wanna play better. Yeah. So people come in for a golf lesson to, with me that are not really good players. Mm -hmm. Really good players, they show up because they're missing the ball somewhere. Yeah. Right? So like I'm missing it right. Can't miss it right. Okay. This keeps you from missing it right. Done. Right? Yeah. That's the lesson. Everybody else goes, well, I was on Instagram and I want to do this with my elbow. And it's like, okay, like, but that doesn't make you control anything. Yeah. You know, you're not behaving like a good player. Good players, like, I need to hit the ball first. I need to control where it starts, control out curves. And then maybe downstream, like, work on power, like, whatever. But yeah. you already have that piece figured out. Yeah. Like, you hit it far enough. Um, to me, it's like, I want to control that ball contact every single time. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Ready? Let's do it again. Yeah. So your intention is inclination to the ground, less shifting around. There you go there keep the arms straight arms straight keep your inclination keep going stop there so see how the club passes keep it there okay okay that's the goal and then this will eventually yeah don't worry about that doesn't yeah. matter okay tommy fleawood's pretty good at hitting, hitting and not doing that yeah <laughs> so kind of just keep this like pretty extended out extended and wide uh-huh okay <laughs> yep interesting interesting yeah i guess like the main thing to me like the main reason i do this so hard i guess is to try to get on the left side but yeah you, you you're accomplishing that goal by not shifting so far right yeah i'm just staying because yeah. here, here's the thing so i was on social media this morning maybe i shouldn't have been but <laughs> i was okay and everybody was on social media too so don't lie um <laughs> And since you guys are on social media already watching this amazing video with this amazing coach, just a reminder, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Not only do I grind every single day to get to scratch, but I also grind nonstop to get you guys these amazing videos. So please, ladies and gentlemen, smash those two little buttons right there. Thanks so much. And now back to the video. You go on there and they had a video of like Rory McIlroy's pelvis. And they were saying like, look how far it goes forward and whatever. Okay, yeah, he's doing that. But that's a little bit disingenuous because it's not giving you the whole picture. So in Rory's case, because he's an outlier, and if you're gonna perform this action, you have to train it. He sets up and he shifts right first. Mm -hmm. So he's already moved with a driver three inches right. Yeah. Then he starts to turn and gets back to that lead side. Yeah. Well, he's been doing it forever. Yeah. Right. But his error is not hitting the ball. Yeah. Right. It's some other thing. Who knows what it is? Mm -hmm. I doubt he even knows what it is. He's that good. <laughs> yeah. But the reality is, is like, okay, the masses of golfers, unless you're trying to work on club at speed, are not trying to do a bunch of that because mm -hmm. that gets you away from controlling the bottom. Yeah. So if we're like, okay, look, we want to hit the middle of the face every time don't shift it very much feel okay there's a little pressure right turn the pelvis and keep it somewhat centered going back so that you can get left easily without thinking about it yeah you don't have to go like slam okay right that was mainly what i was doing um and then when i slammed it i just couldn't do any of the other stuff I yeah well yeah. you probably are pushing lateral if you push lateral like that you can't turn yeah okay because you're just going forward Gotcha. So you need to just push and not go and lateral. This, like, yeah, you're gonna already do it. And then the side bend here, you want me to like go this way? Yep, and keep your arms straight. Yeah, so when you finish, your head's on a wall like this. Already better, that looked great. That was cool. Yeah, that was pretty Right decent. when you took that back, I knew that was gonna be good. And by the way, that's a full swing. Is that, is that a full swing? Yeah, 100%. Oh, that just feels like a, <laughs> yeah, I guess keep, for me keep, now. Keep I trying to keep trying to dial it down. Okay. I mean, how often do I smash a seven iron? Yeah. Zero. Zero, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never. Yeah, already better, just hitting dead straight little draws. Yeah. That's 
It feels so much more controlled. I feel like I'm doing like a 60% swing right now. <laughs> well, you, here's that's the issue. Like you're capable of doing it. Yeah. If I had some regular, I'm not blowing smoke here, but if you had not the physical capability of moving around like yeah. you do, mm -hmm. I mean, that's a good attribute because you're in shape, you're able to do it. But you don't have the skill set yet. Yeah. You know, so like I get plenty of long drive guys that I talk to and work with. Yeah. We're doing the opposite of you. Okay. But they probably played college golf. Yeah. So they don't really care. Like they're going to hit the center of the face. Once again, you go on the internet, like we look at Kyle Berkshire. Yeah. Well, Kyle's freaking good at hitting the middle of the face. Yeah. For him to do what he's doing. Mm -hmm. But he also can tie him up when he gets his pressure back to his lead side. Mm -hmm. And his swing is long. Yeah. So when you look at Kyle and you look at Josh and you look at Justin James, like their their clubs here. Yeah. And then boom, like you gotta remember, you're trying to hit that seven iron 170 yards at a target. Yeah. And consistently. Mm -hmm. So would I be sh hitting like my nine iron similarly? Like Everything. Even my like 56 degree? Yeah. Okay. If and, not shorter. Yeah. And for those, um, like I said, Getting the, I guess the weight is gonna naturally It'll go get there, there when I get there. Okay. Am I like, also, I mean. Don't worry about clearing. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna do it, don't worry. Because it seems like when I'm doing it, I'll get here and then I'll just swing rather than, I guess, using my. You'll, uh, you'll be fine. My don't rotation. Worry. Don't worry. <laughs> You're fine. Shorten it up. You can shorter, yeah. So the mindset is shorten it up, keep as stable as you can keep it, especially where your pelvis is, and keep yeah. your arms straight on both sides of the spectrum while keeping your inclination to the ground. And then get really good. You hit the ball in that zone every time. Just boom, 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 boom. Get control over that. Don't add little things that don't matter. Better. That ball sounded wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> that was an eldo ball. What does that mean? Terrible, terrible golf ball. Oh. <laughs> Sound like a feather. <laughs> yep. Yep. Don't release it. Don't release it. Just keep that straight like this. Yep. Do that again. Even more. Club head. Oh, like this. this. Now it won't actually do that. That's your feel. Yeah. Okay. Try to do that. Yeah. Like this and then eventually go through. Yeah. yeah. Sick, very good. Okay, next one, same thing, handle higher, face a little to the right at address. Little wrist deviation. Did you feel that? On the back or both, both sides. Oh yeah, a little bit. So this is really not doing anything. We're just bringing it back. You're not doing anything. Really, okay. Yeah. Keep it simple. Okay, as straight as you can on both sides. Ready? Yeah. Open face a little bit. Just a little bit, handle a little higher. Do not break the wrist. Keep your inclination to the ground and less movement to the right. Go ahead. Awesome. Mm. That hook? Yeah. Let's go take a look. Contact all right? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Okay. So like who's the number one golf coach historically the last decade in the country? Butch Harmon. There you go. Okay, why is Butch really good? Uh, I just know that he coached Tiger. Okay, so why he's really good, there's a bunch of reasons. Yeah. Number one is he goes, okay, what is the issue? Okay, and where your attention to where the issue is, is what is this doing? Mm -hmm. Okay, and what's the simplest path to least resistance to control that? Uh -huh. And then get you to buy into doing one thing really well. That's pretty much it. Okay. And it's not like, oh, you got to open your hips more. Okay. Okay. Because once you go to that, it doesn't affect that much. Okay. Okay. So if you look at here, that's less to the right. See that? Yeah. By about half an inch. And you think you're not turning very much and you still got to a hundred. Okay. Oh, dang. Right? It's yeah. a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot. Like, seem like it this should be with that club 90. Okay and you're seven degrees out of range, six degrees out of range. And then on the downswing, you're still coming up. Yeah. See that? And you need to keep that inclination as you go through and see your wrist kind of broke. So because you're coming up, you can't lean the handle and the wrist goes into extension too quick. 
kind yeah. of goes like that. I guess I'm kind of, I don't know how the disconnect, when I get on this lead side, it seems like the only way is, like, if I start turning, this is just going to go up. It should. Okay, so. It should go up and back as you tilt. Okay, so my problem right now is that it's just going up. And you're just it. going up and you're not keeping your tilt. Let me show you how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's not going to feel normal. Yeah. And then that's not finishing right here. So yeah, it needs to be straight and you're finishing it way up here. I see. Right? Yeah. So, um, and it's a nice looking golf swing. You look at it, it looks pure. Like if, if I didn't know where the ball went, I'd say, oh yeah, it was 180 yards down the middle. Yeah. Because you're turning like Cameron Champ there. Is that a good thing? Well, yeah, but like, <laughs> still got to hit the ball first. Yeah. Okay, so let's go do it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I guess what I'm try trying to think like the number one thing to fix and just focus on that. Keep it short. <laughs> yeah, I Keep guess. Keep from moving side to side. Yeah. And then the downswing, so let's go to, go to impact for a minute. Uh, impact right here. Yep, so get your weight forward. Oh yeah, okay. Good, so now straighten the left leg. Where'd the hips go? This way. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have to correspondingly go into your tilt as this pushes open. See how you went down and this went back? Yeah. Where's your handle? forward yeah so wouldn't this shoot out to the right if i do it this way like here uh, or do i need a no don't arc? worry about that okay yeah don't don't yeah because so you're doing this where's the face going? like this yeah there. so that i could just like so if i'm keeping that feel that it's like extended like like this if you just keep it like it was at impact yeah and just keep it there mm -hmm. what would it do it would go start right. right and draw. Yeah. Okay. So try try to do that. Go to impact. Okay. Hips are open. Chest down. Side bend. Good. Now keep your weight forward like that and hit a chip shot ten yards. Ten yards. Feel that? Yeah. Ah, don't don't release it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing. Like if you were a tour player, tour players do that too much. Yeah. Some of them. Mm -hmm. Like then you could line that up. Yeah. But you're lining it up early and you're standing up. Yeah. So like you have to learn to get here more. Yeah. So I'm bringing this extended out, like as I guess, small backswing in my mind because it kind of goes more. So it's just like. That's the first feel. feel. Yeah. Good. This and then gets in here. Straighten the leg behind you and side bend and stay down. Good. Stop. Okay, know where you are at impact. Go back to impact. Good. Straighten the left leg. Good. Side bend. And down. Oh, there, like even more here. There's the handle. Now, it doesn't mean the handle doesn't rise. It does, but mm -hmm. you need to get there first. There it is. That's what I mean. Like when we started, yeah. I asked you specifically, and I didn't expect you to have the right answer. Yeah. What do you do when you warm up? It's like, yeah. well, I just hit short irons it's like okay well like what's a usable shot well if i hit a wedge mm -hmm. to a back pin i'm going to be like this every single time and i'm going to do that 50 percent of the time on the golf course yeah i am not going to be going like that yeah because you can't play from there you can't throw a wedge straight up in the air and let the wind take it yeah right uh -huh. but so get good at like bam hit that shot and keep it down there Oh, that is completely different. Okay, so this, uh, I guess don't even like sway here. Get here, which will be kind of like 50% feel, but it'll probably be at 100 for me. Yep, yep. And then push, side bend, hold the angles. Wait. There. Now you're not going to come out of it. So like chip balls like that. Don't, okay. don't hit big ones, just chip. Ooh, that's different. Didn't go left. How about that? <laughs> yeah, so for my, I guess, diagnosis, if I'm doing that, it's going to go right. Sure, hit it right. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, like let's just get the contact good. We're about the right next. That looked flush. Where'd that go? Uh, straight and then kind of went to the right a little bit. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, this is completely different than <laughs> what I do. <laughs> better so now if you thin one yeah. do the impact we call that impact fix mm -hmm. so like there's a book called the golf machine if you want to get like 
really into the weeds. Yeah. I'm not going to let you do that. <laughs> but the, in, go to impact real quick. Oh. That's impact fix. So you see how you're like tilted and you're open with your lower body handles forward? Yeah. Now pitch the ball 10 feet. See that? See how you don't throw the angles out of your wrist? Yeah. That's how I'd warm up. Just get really good at contact, contact, contact. Yeah. And then get into the theory later. Yes. Yeah, I guess all the time I, I would Yeah, break never it. do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, better. Fell on my toes there. So, quick question on like the side bend. I know like there's people like Joaquin, what's his name? Yeah, Joaquin Neiman. Yeah which is like <laughs> yeah i'm not saying to do that and no. so yeah what is the let's just do normal so <laughs> here's the thing okay i know you're really popular on the internet okay <laughs> okay on the internet there is a lot of arguing going on mm -hmm. and everybody in my mind is right yeah if they're given ability to sit down for 15 minutes and have a conversation why yeah that never happens it's just Here's a video of Joaquin Neiman. He's really good, therefore he should do it. Yeah. Okay, but then you have Jimmy Walker, mm -hmm. who's not doing any of it. Yeah. You're like, okay, well, he has 35 million in the bank. He's doing okay. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so, like, you have to understand, like, that's why I like orthodox. It's like you can be a little on this side or a little on this side of orthodox and be okay. But when you start getting into, like, hyper rotation, it's like, yeah, that's, that's Beto Pereira doing it. Like, dude, he's an outlier. Yeah. Or Joaquin's an outlier. Yeah. Like, I can't do that. Yeah. You know, so it's, or DJ, like he's a, you know, he's six foot four, like he's a freak. So like he can do a lot of those things. Mm -hmm. The average person can't. Yeah. So let's just be normal yeah, in normal. our distribution here. Okay. Sounds good. That means there's going to be some side bend. Gotcha. So would you say it's kind of like uh, going under? Sure. That's yeah. fine. Okay. As long as the hands are leaning, that's fine. Better. So literally, like, you could go play doing that, by the way. Yeah. Like, you could go from 160 in with your speed. You could go play. And you, if you're in the middle of the fairway, you could shell balls at the middle of the green all day long. With this, And yeah. break 80. Yeah. If you have any short game. Yeah. What gets to be a problem is when these wrists start moving around. Mm-hmm. Well, now you have to line something up, you okay. know, and I know like we can argue what's right as far as where wrist angles should and shouldn't be. Yeah. And there are plenty of players who get here. I understand that. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that's a tour player. Yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Right. For you, you need to feel like that. Mm -hmm. So you smash the ball. Yeah. Okay. okay uh, one more and then we're going to go take a look. Okay. And so I know some people say like, or look like they're kind of like. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, just kind of just like bring it back. Yeah, does it anyway. You just try to keep it wide. Okay. Keep it shorter on both ends. Don't throw the face at it. So that was a little bit of this. Oh, okay. So if I do this, keep it this way. Shorter. Boom, right there. There. Okay. Yep. And right now, basically, we're like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And still did it there. That's right. Try it again. At least you felt it. Yeah. Now, to whenever you do that and you're yeah. practicing, chip a ball. Do that handle leaning, side bend, chest down, pitch. And this is kind of like this much, or? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay. It just gives you a feedback. Yeah. Okay, one more. We'll go take a look. Got a miss there. That's all right. You missed the face. Yeah. I also like stopped looking at the ball when I was trying to do the side okay. bend. <laughs> like that. Try one more. Take the energy out of it. Nice. All right. You got to check this out. This looks good. This is a golf swing. All right. So we're just going to reference ranges for a minute. Okay. Then we're looking at impact. Okay. So see how you're under rotated? Yeah. Stay there or like? Yeah. Why not? Because you already go the other way. Like a hundred. Yeah, but you didn't sway off the ball either. So you're at zero. Yeah. Head's more down, right? Yeah. Now see how the butt into the club right here is a little bit away from your right thigh. Mm -hmm. The more you stay down and side bend and open, the handle gets more forward. So what do you mean stay down here? 
Well, so your chest, chest lift, if that chest lift stays down, see how it's like negative, negative, but it's going positive yeah. right here, and it starts getting positive, and then it impacts, see how it's out of range? Mm -hmm. So your chest, at this point, needs to be down two more inches. So when I said staying down, down, yeah. rotate the left hip back and side bend, that would change that number. Okay. But that's not your normal pattern. Normally you want to stand up. Yeah. Now when you stand up, your hips don't want to turn. Oh, okay, got it, got so, it. So that's okay. It is what it is. Your everything else looks great. So you're green all the way across. Yeah. Kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> and this was good. Like you hit this one good. And then see the handles more forward. Look at that. But in the club, your hips are open 33 degrees. This is that way. Yeah. It's open. All right. You're forward 5.9 degrees with your lower body. The only issue is you just stood up a little bit or you'd have more lean. I see. Well, so then basically you want me to bend as much more, I mean, throughout, through the bowl as yeah, impact. Yeah. Okay. Stay, stay, it's like, you know, they say keeping your head down. Well, what does that really mean? Well, you're keeping like incli your inclination to the ground down. Uh -huh. You're not keeping your spine down because then you'd look like this, but you're like keeping in that tilt through the shot. Uh -huh. You don't stand up to hit it. Mm, not saying certain it. players don't, because yeah. there are, but just within some range. Mm, okay. And then, but you look at your wrist angles, see they don't get thrown away so much. Then when you finish, you look like that. That's a good looking golf swing. There's no flip on the hands or anything. Got it, got it. And I'll go, basically this white's more or less controllable to this going straight. Yeah. Because I could just like, I'm not really doing too much manipulation. In my yeah, this, this isn't going everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if this starts going there or there, I mean, it's just, you, you, you're subject to where you can start the ball. So I, I kind of wrapped this all back to the original conversation. The original conversation was, okay, what is your concept when you warm up? Like, because mm. when you do, like, look, here's the thing. You have access to a lot of information. Yeah, probably too right. much. <laughs> yeah. But what's pertaining to you, mm -hmm. right? Because it gets dangerous and it's very subjective when you take here, 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 and they're all, could be all right. Like, it doesn't really matter, right or wrong. But yeah. for you, it's like, well, what's my actual integral issue? Yeah. Well, contact's the big one, mm -hmm. right? And start line. Yeah. Like, those are the two big ones. Like, power is not one of them. Mm -hmm. So why would you interject a whole bunch of power into the system if it's not controllable? Yeah. Right? So that is not a good idea. Okay. So to me, it's like control, 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 control. And then once you have that, then curve, 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 curve it dependently, and then add power if you need to, which yeah. I don't think you really need to. But okay. we'll get to that at some point. Gotcha. Would you say, like, when I'm at the top of my backswing and now I have my weight on my left foot, then I start doing the... Yeah, immediately. Like instantly? Yeah. Got it. Okay. Can I like try it to, when I'm over-exaggerating and see what that happens? Yeah, heck yeah. Of okay, course. Cool, cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. It was easy. So like if I were to over-exaggerate, this is kind of what it would look like. So I guess like this. And then I would go like... Uh, yeah. Crazy. And then don't break the wrist. No, don't break the wrist. Finish oh. right... Pull the speed out of it. Pull the speed out of it. And finish there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Arm straight, club straight. There. Yeah. Hit it that hard. Okay. Good. Uh, that was a little harder. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hit it I soft. <laughs> accelerated through the bowl there. It's like Hulk smash. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? So kind of keep it centered as you can. Arm straight as you can. There you go. That was awesome. So, I mean, that was a slightly thin. Is that because? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's like learning to play music. Yeah. You gotta go slow. I think I said that last time, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so hit one to the first pull. That's your objective. Nothing else. Okay. This one right here on the right? Yeah, just hit it right there. With perfect technique. Can't hit it past it. Or you have to run around the golf course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. You are so screwed. <laughs> you just need to start. Let's see it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I just felt like that was so weak and then the incident hit. You know, that's a skill though. So I get a lot of guys to do that. They, yeah. they show up and they're like, oh, I have problems with my irons. And I'm like, okay, well, what's the problem? Yeah. Well, hit, hit, your, hit the target. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, no, I need to make a swing. Like, no, hit the target, like right there. 
and it's hard. It's like, how's that hard? You're just going like this. Chip. You, you can do it. Chip. Yeah. Okay. Okay, do it. <laughs> so it's wide arms, side bend, rotate. Boom. Yeah, good. <laughs> Keep the arms straight. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Didn't we look like your head popped up. So that means I'm just staying down in the ground and not doing that. Yeah, yeah. And then the why I chunked it is because I didn't. You didn't keep you, your wrist went. Um, and then if I'm not doing the full swing to get to my left, do I just keep the weight on my keep, left? Already? Keep it over there then for now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. It won't actually do that, but you're gonna try. Good. I feel like my weight's going on my right foot or to right toe. Do that and I go like. Yeah, you gotta keep it pushing, side bending, going like that. See how I'm here? Yeah. So I gotta go yeah, this way. way rather than yeah, back. this way. There you go. Money. Absolutely perfect. Like so a little just... bullet. Yeah. So driver's no different. So okay. grab the driver. People think to hit the driver in the air that you need to do this. Okay? That does happen, but you try not to do it. Because mm. if I do this, then it goes like that and this stalls. Okay. So I want you to feel like it's like, like you're pitching a nine iron with your driver. It's the same thing and then? Yep, because you need it to center of the face. Yeah. Control where it starts first. Yeah. Okay. okay. And same backswing, wide. All right, cool, good job. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Would you say you're um, like throwing it out that way? Or um, no. Don't just, even worry about that. Just keeping it here. Just just keep this integrity the whole way. Don't worry about the direction it's going. Okay. For now. Okay. okay. Yeah. Because you're not like over the top or doing anything weird like that. Well, you picked the best ball in the lot. Are you I, serious? <laughs> I'm a little. That has worst. no paint on it. Yeah. <laughs> here, we'll donate that to the squirrels. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> that's that's gone through hell and back <laughs> so really i just need to focus on this kind of extension here and then down and side bend keep your arms straight and chip you're just chipping balls for right now yeah okay money very good see that oh. centered hit yeah it's a lot more controlled than i would yeah I usually do well like why that's the easiest club in the bag to hit this one? Yeah, driver. Yeah. The CG on that thing is this big. Yeah. <laughs> like the, the face is gigantic. Yeah. And it's, then when I'm doing this it's, turn. It's shallower, so it's yeah. not like you're gonna chop down on it. Mm -hmm. And the emphasis on the weight distribution when I'm going this is. Just... Into the lead side, side bend, stay down. Keep the arm integrity in check. Kind of like that. Yep. Oh. It's all right, kind of flipped it. Yeah, like this. Okay, so let's talk. Yeah. So we're, we're going to close with this. Yeah. Because I want you to go grind on this. Yes. Every club in your bag is going to be impact fix. So mm -hmm. show me where impact fix is. Uh, like, you mean up here? No, nope. impact. Or impact. Or Weights forward. Even with the driver? Yep. Okay. Because you're not going to do that. Side bend, chest down. See how your right elbow is better and your right wrist is forward? Yeah. That's your feel. Mm -hmm. Now keep that and go to halfway through. This way? No, nope, through. Way. Hold. Now don't change your wrist angles. Just feel like that. There. That's your follow through. You do that for a week. You can't. This goes away. Yeah. It's gone. It's just chip, 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 chip. Power is the easiest thing to work on. Like yeah, club head yeah. speed, it's the most linear way to do things. Mm -hmm. So that's easy. Yeah. You can teach anybody to swing fast. Mm -hmm. But you got to control it. That is the most... You know, there's there's specifics that need to occur in order for you to do that. Yeah. And if they don't happen, you can't lay your speed into it. So you just have to keep the integrity of starting the ball on your line, contact, and then curvature. Gotcha. You got this. Easy. Yeah. And so I keep going back to this because when I'm in here, I'm just basically... Yeah, that way. This way. Yeah. Keep your inclination to the ground and side bend through it. It's not normal for most humans to do that because... We're not hitting golf balls all day long. Yeah, I just keep feeling like I'm coming all on my toe here. To yeah, you're not side. getting your weight forward enough. Like this. There it is. 
And so I should just feel if if I don't get here because of the the size of the backswing, I should just like keep it more left. Keep it more left. Yeah. You can always add more motion to it. Yeah. You know. Okay. All right, my man. Good. Very good. All right. That was pure. Um, sorry to be such a hard ass on you today. Yeah, no, dude. <laughs> thank you, man. Have to be though. Yeah, you have to um, be unless I get a scratch. Hey, Drobeer. Definitely I you know what? I think YouTube wants you to watch this video right here. This thumbnail, this other video, I, they told me personally that they you would love this. And I believe, yep, yep, just checked. Yep, Rory McElroy is also watching it. So yeah, just click that video right, right, right over there. Right over here. <laughs> See you guys there.